I have something to give you, and I'm, I'm doing it on your video, and you are not allowed to delete this. I'm not recording. So you understand. Well, then hit the record button. All right, I am recording. Oh, okay, good. You're my witnesses. I have a contract for you. <laughs> this is an you official. Are, you are free to read it out loud. I hereby swear. Is, is that me That's or you? you? So I hereby swear. Swearing is not good. Oh my God. That I will not underline sell Kathy's Model Y. That's right. I don't know if I can sign this contract. Do you want another name for my car? Yeah, let's hear it. You ready? Yeah. Drum roll. <laughs> Welcome to another episode of Out of Spec Dave, where Kathy and I are on our way. We're heading on the Merritt Parkway, a little bit southbound to go over to Long Ridge Road exit, because up that road and then across a couple other roads, we find a very special place, Tesla Mount Kisco. Today is collection day, as we like to call it in the Connor family. It's the day where Kathy finally after quite a long wait and a little bit of a roller coaster ride, finally is going to be getting her her Model Y. So, Kathy, what are your what are your thoughts? I'm very excited. I waited what I feel like was a very long time. So, over the river and through the woods to Tesla, we will go. Oh boy, let's go! Zing. All right, so as we get off exit 34, we're gonna head northbound on Long Ridge Road into the abyss of Tesla. So we're gonna be an all, no, not an all Tesla family because we still have still the Lucid. Lucid. At least I, I'm forgetting about the Lucid, although I just spoke to Kyle and he said, all right, I'm gonna be doing all I need to do with it this week. You can get it back after next week. So I'm okay. excited to, to do that, which will be good. Okay. Um, so in the meantime, you know, look, this GV60, we've had it just under a year, um, almost a year. And what are your thoughts about this? This is a great car. This is a great car. Really beautiful I, car. I really have nothing negative to say about this car. Like, it's quick. It's sporty. It looks really awesome. It's comfortable. I love the inside. I think much more premium than the inside of the Tesla is. Yep, um, yep. Love the massaging seats, which I'm taking advantage of on our last drive. Right. With it, and uh, you, you love know, the heads-up display. You were just talking about that. Display, we'll miss that, and um, certainly, you know, these gorgeous seats that I yeah paid a lot of money for. Yeah, it's like, like you know what? they brought me a lot of joy this nah, year. Nah, that's they good. Really that's good. You know, it's a great car. I've had zero issues. I love it so much. But so you know, Kathy, why, do you, why well, are you selling you, it? You, not only are you selling this, but you're getting back into the exact car you used to have. I did. I had exact spec. Yeah. I mean, like it was a Tesla Model Y. It was a 2021. White on white. White on white, and it wasn't like the fancy one. So yeah. what? Why are you going back to that? Well, you know, you know how I feel about you know, like why, Dave? <laughs> why, Dave? Let's let's discuss that. Why? But why? <laughs> But, Can you keep the car on the road? No, and this thing does beep at me a lot. Yeah, well, you, <laughs> that's a good thing. Um, why am I getting rid of it? I think the only reason, if I take you out of the equation, is the fact that I'm going to have my car down in Florida this summer. And I'm just not comfortable if I'm not at a Tesla supercharger. So because and our condo doesn't have charging, charging. we have... <laughs> the electric vehicle charging sign points to a light socket that that's a 110 that powers the the lights that go it up on them. It only goes on at night. It only goes on at night, so you got a 110 half the day, right? right? So and then I don't think it's the the charging system up in Naples is very reliable. You had several issues there. Yeah, we, the EA in yeah. Naples is is um, so, notoriously uh, bad. Yeah, uh, maybe it's been better. We haven't been down there in a while. We're we're definitely gonna stop by and check it out and we'll we'll uh we'll, we'll see how it how it does but so so your your real fear 
is the public charging network. Yes. I mean, and the even though you're not having to charge all that often. No, but you know, like I'm going to be going up to see Katie in Tampa. Yeah. Uh, and that's three hours, two and a half, three hours, depending on traffic. And you know what? I know where the Tesla superchargers are, and that's where I want to be. I want to yeah. be able to pull into one of them, get it done, and pull out. All right. So when we rented, remember in December or November, we rented the Model Y. Oh, yes. And, and we did a comparison about, you know, between the Model Y and the GV60. And at the end of the video, you said, I'm keeping my GV60, right? Right. That was like, who shot JR? <laughs> I'm keeping my GV60. Yeah, definitively. And, and yeah. but what happened since then are incredibly huge price reductions right. on the Model Y. Right. And what is also happening is you spend a lot of money for this car yeah. and, you know, the knife is falling in the values of on EVs the on the used car market. Yeah. And so I'm already selling this at a, you know, what I consider to be a big loss. Well, which I don't think you consider it that way, but yeah. I do. But I have a, a comfort level of why I want to get back into a lot. Right. OK, no. And, and that makes a lot of sense. So so it's really nothing about the car itself. The car is amazing. amazing. Um, you know, it's fast. It's got regen braking with all kinds of you know all sorts of great buttons and yeah. screens so all right so seat. so you're going back to the same exact tesla with minor differences uh a yeah. little bit longer range the battery pack you had back then was i think maybe a 74 75 kilowatt hour battery pack the new one is 82 or something like that 330 miles of range versus um you know what you had back then which was maybe 305 maybe somewhere in there but the big difference in terms of range is between what you're now getting the model y long range 330 miles range versus this car which is the performance with the 21 inch wheels that you're going to have approximately 90 miles more range because this car has got about a 243 mile range um, and your new Model Y will have a 330 mile range. So, you know, depending on what we do with the Lucid, is that a long term keeper? I don't know. This car is going to be ending up, we're going to start the trek tomorrow night. It's going to be Florida. down to Florida. Yeah. And, in you know, fact, I waited. I was supposed to be on an airplane yesterday flying down to Florida. That's right. And my driver was going to bring my car down. Well, I was going to bring the Model 3 down because yes. th we were we were thinking you weren't going to get your car for a while. So anyway, er anyone who's watched these videos up to this point, you know the saga. And it's been a saga. But, but today it's all about saying goodbye to the GV60. The experience has been a good one. If you're in the market for a GV60 or um, any of the Hyundai products and it, and it works for your lifestyle and it's what you like, we can't really say too many bad things no, about these cars, bad to right? Say about this car. They're they're great. Honestly. They charge super fast when you can get it when you can find a charger that yeah. that's uh, that's reliable and working, and so that's all good. But um, so tell me about your like just your 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 mental being. Like, how are you feeling about getting back into the car that you? What was that car called? You was called that it Cream Puff. That was Cream Puff, right? That was Cream Puff. I have a name for my new one. Well, don't don't no, reveal it yet. I won't tell you yet. On the way home, you can reveal yeah, it. Yeah, I already have the name. I put a lot of thought into it too. All right, and uh, and and I, I just want to go back to you. You got rid of the Model Y, and you bought a gas-powered car. Sorry for those of you who are going a, like, ah. a Porsche Macan. Yeah. And 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 that sort of went back to your days when you had a Porsche Macan years ago. You had a, a, model, a Porsche Macan S and you love that car. I do. I still love that car. Right. That car looks very sexy. So why why did you go back to a gas car after being in electric for so many? What? So you had a Model 3, then you had the Model Y. Those were your yeah, cars. So, I, so the 3 was my first experience having an electric car. Right. right? Yours yourself Mine that you drive myself. every day. Yeah. Oh, what color was it? White, white. 
Yeah. That, well, that, that, <laughs> I don't even know why Tesla makes any other colors. <laughs> right? You know, it's like Ford Model T. You can have any color you want as long as it's black, right? Well, in Kathy's case, she she can only have any color she wants as long as it's white, white. So you had a Model 3. Then when the Y came out, I remember driving up to yeah. Fort Myers that summer. And you were like, okay, this is this is the piece. Yeah. And by the way, you weren't wrong. The Model Y has become the world's best-selling car. I know. So, you know, like, you weren't I wrong. I must have been a trendsetter. All right, so you had your dream car. You had Cream Puff. I had Cream Puff. And then you sold Cream Puff and got a, you got a, a Porsche Macan. Right. Was that just the emotional, when you saw it, like something, what happened to you? I honestly don't remember, but I, I know that, something you said must have factored into the, that Me? decision. I, I don't do car deals by myself. You know that. So something you must have said triggered something for us to go to the Porsche dealership. Maybe just to look and ask about the new Macan or maybe the Taycan. And then all of a sudden, what maybe happens? I saw it. You saw, she <laughs> saw this blue with tan certified pre-owned yeah. Macan. It's with, like the perfect Porsche color, I think. And the navy, and all of a sudden, dark, dark tan seat. I, I saw like the the wheels were spinning, and that was all you. You you went like emotional, like targeted on that, and it was a beautiful car. And it only had three thousand miles or so. And I think that's the only time I didn't want that car in white. Like I wanted yeah. that. I think that was the only anomaly. Right. The yeah. the navy, whatever that blue, yes. very beautiful car. So anyway. We just said, I remember this. Let's just see what they would give you for your Model Y as a trade. I'm glad you remember. I no, remember. I, re I remember. And, and and they came back with such a huge number that it was just crazy. Oh, well, then that's why I did it. And and yeah. it was, we, we didn't go out shopping for a Macan that day. And all of a sudden, you're like, okay. And, and the guy said, you can take the car home today. I and said, it, okay. we left to go look at the Taycans and to find out about the Macan EV. Oh, and maybe that's why that's we what there. it was. And then and they weren't out. They weren't out. And they're yeah. still not out, by the way. Yeah, and weird. this is a long time ago. Um, and, and so anyway, <laughs> we drove up there in the Model Y in, mm -hmm. in Cream Puff. And you drove home in, in a Porsche Taycan, ta a Porsche Taycan, a Macan. And, uh, and and look, you loved that car. That was that was great. I and love that you car. you felt having it was loud. It's the polar opposite of driving an EV. Yeah, it was loud. Well, you had the four cylinder to the base Macan, and that drove this transmission on that drove smoother, and the noise that came out of the tailpipes sounded better than the Model S you had from years ago. So anyway, enough about the Porsche Macan. Great car, but. So you, you ended up having that for a while. And, um, and then I had the Ionic 5 and I wanted to get a Model S. I got a Model S. You didn't want to drive the Ionic 5. And I was like, hey, honey, let's go to Genesis House, which we won't go through the whole thing. But you had another one of those epiphanies when you walked in Genesis House and you saw this car. For sure. And you got emotional about it and you were like, I want that car. So yeah. you got it. And well, that's so great. good looking. It is beautiful. It's so good looking. All right. So fast forward, nothing wrong with the car. Um, you, you're and, and all of a sudden Tesla lowers the prices on the Model Y by a lot. Like twenty thousand five hundred dollars if you factor in the seventy five hundred dollar federal tax credit that we qualify for. And so it made a lot of sense to consider that. And um, yeah, so anyway, here we are picking up the Model Y. Uh, enough about the past. What are your, what are your, what's your feeling about having the Model Y with the Tesla network down in Florida? And well, just, I think I just covered that. I think that's. Oh yeah, yeah, you did. I push of why oh, yeah. I'm doing this. Yeah, yeah. I am a huge fan, as everybody should be, of that Tesla network. It yeah. does not disappoint. It is completely reliable. All right, so there's a few things that we have to do when we arrive in Mount Kisco with this car. We need to do a, you want to properly reset your car 
uh, to a factory reset, which will blow out all of your personal data in the car. Do you know how to do that? I will, add, I'll figure it out once we get there. It's, it's, every car is a little different. I don't know exactly how to do it. We'll just go to the menu, we'll do it. And, and I, I, I want to encourage everyone to do that because, you know, I, I picked up so many cars, uh, pre-owned cars. And we know where people live. Yeah, we know where they live. We, we know, know their, 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 contacts. their contacts. We know where they work. We know everything. Yeah. And that's, that's a lot of, you know, Personal oh, information. Trucks moving. It was so annoying on that beautiful road. Junk info. Yeah, oh, the whole way. One eight five five junk info. You just need to tell me the rest of the directions once when I have to make a. Break. Yeah, don't you worry. I got. Oh, no, really? I got it. I've been doing this road, this drive quite this is a bit. Like your favorite drive. So, so when we arrive at Tesla, uh, I just want to let you know that all the paperwork's done. Great. Um, you'll just have to. They'll have. They'll have a clipboard in the car. It'll it'll seem a little bit plastic to you. I mean, I've done this before. Okay, but not the express delivery. You haven't. When I picked up my Model Three, you left. You dropped me off. You said, "See ya." Yeah. Right. And you're, but it's just a very quick delivery. If you have any questions, you can ask them. But you probably know as much as you need, to, you know, to know. Not worried. Um, and and uh, you know the financing's taken care of. The insurance is taken care of. Um, you don't owe any money. Uh, I made the final payment. Everything is set now for you to be able to pick up this car. There's a why. Yeah. What are the odds? <laughs> pretty, pretty high. Am I going so to you're going to go to the left up here. Yeah. Just Bedford fire department on the move, sending it. What does Kyle say? Full send. Full send. He was on it. That, hopefully everything's yeah, all right. Yeah. So, so yeah, you'll, um, you'll, um, you'll sign a few little papers. There'll be a clipboard and yeah, it should be a, a really good experience. And we'll go over the car, um, you know, little things. If there's something wrong with it, we can have them fix it. Like my trunk lid was not quite right. And they, they did take care of that. I may have them adjust it one more time. I, I'm, it's not quite perfect, but look, Tesla, Tesla is really, they, they do a good job. They make it super easy for picking up these cars and uh yeah it should be good so next stop we're going to be in mount kisco at tesla um and you know listen kath i'll i'll do my best to allow you to keep this car for at least three months oh i know you will yeah why is that you'll see what do you mean you'll see i have something for you well what, what do you have just give it to me. No, what do you got? I can't. I'm driving. I'm gonna. I have something for you later. You do, a present? Yes, it's a present. Really? Okay. It's a present to me. A present to you? <laughs> You're giving yes. me a present to you? Yes. Yes. Oh, that's that's you a new one. Have to wait. I'm gonna have to wait. You have to wait. I don't like to wait. I know you don't. You know what I did last night? The last few nights, no, I've I slept don't. because I haven't been on the Tesla inventory oh, yeah. site at two in the morning <laughs> looking for cars it's like i got nothing to do now this is boring keep going straight just keep going straight okay. yep here's greenwich 11 miles oh my gosh greenwich connecticut all right we'll see you in mount Cusco. all right so here we are uh, tesla's right up honey tesla's right it's up the road uh, i know it's not I, here i know i, We're I at, just want to pull over quickly. this is building supply out of business building supply what did I? I have something for you. This is the thing you told me about before. Yes. You no, have I'm some. I'm not kidding. I have something to give you, and I'm I'm doing it on your video, and you are not allowed to delete this. I'm not recording. To understand? Well, then hit the record button. All right, I am recording. Oh, okay, good. You're my witnesses. I have a contract for you. <laughs> This is an official. You are free to read it out loud. I hereby swear. Is is that me That's or you? you? So I hereby swear. Swearing is not good. Oh my god! That I will not underline sell Kathy's Model Y. That's right. I don't know if I can sign this contract. I will also not underline even remotely suggest that she goes to a dealership to just look 
at another car for her. This contract expires on 6-15-26. Three years. Three years. I would like for once to keep a car three for three years? years. And now you're all my witnesses. This is really what I want to do. I would right. like to keep all right. Hold on. I don't think I need anything else. I think hold here, on. you're going to sign right here. I'm not. Hold there's on. A, there's a little spot here. I'm not prepared for that this. That says sign Take, hey, here. You're getting a little aggressive, woman. I am. Listen to me. I, I don't think so. I don't have can I call my lawyer? <laughs> Your lawyer is my lawyer. I'm not I need to edit this. What do you mean? It's I, perfect. I, I made it just I the way I want it. This 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 first sentence here, I I hereby swear that I will not sell Kathy's Model Y. Right. Okay. I will sign up for that for three years. <laughs> but if that doesn't mean that if for some reason if I make the decision right. to sell the car, that's not you Right, okay, saying, all right, I can, I'm, hey, I'm Kath, good. Hey, I've got a great idea. We should just go look at... No, no, but I do, I, that's the, the part I want to, that's the part I want to take out. Because going to look is... No, we always look at cars, yeah, but so, I know you, you're free to trade whenever you want. Okay, so but, we can go and look, but I'm not going to suggest... But not for me. Okay, Right, I'm happy to All right. look at cars. I will as also long as not I... even remotely suggest that she goes to a dealership to just look at another car for her. Okay, so I'm going to say, for I'm going to take out the word her, and I'm going to put in for any reason that would encourage her <laughs> to sell. Her why? Is that is that fair? I think that's okay. You you can live with that. I think I can live with that. The moral of the story is, and you're not allowed to delete this from your video because I'm doing this because I want everybody to know, trading cars like this is not me. It's you, and I feel strongly that I love the why so much. I've always loved Tesla. I've been a fan of Tesla. I just want to be done. I'd like to learn a car for once, get to know well, everything. What about happens it. when they come out with the refresh next year? I don't, I don't think I really care that much. But, about but the if you do care about if it, I care about it. That's all different. right. I'll sign this. I'm not going to okay. care about it. I'll sign it. There you go. Right there. Okay. You, you all can read it. You can there snap it. Is. There it is. That's right. All right. Can we go buy the car now? Yes. Now I'm Is there excited. anything else? No, that was it. That's, that was the most ridiculous it, thing I've ever done. I just done. want to make it clear that it's never me. I it's feel a little you. violated. Three years. <laughs> Three years. All right. All right. Off we go. Let's go get a Model Y. All right. That I can keep I don't for know. three I, years. I feel, I feel different. All right. Here we are. Back at... Do I pull in? Uh, or do I stay out here? Just leave it in the road right up over there. Okay. Okay. Got it. Yeah. Ooh, there's a lot of cars. I One think of them's mine. I think don't hit the curb. All right. All right, yeah, this Good. is this is perfect. Okay. Okay. Now, one last thing. What? Which we haven't talked about. Another? No, not for you. What? So I love this car so much and I've made I've made enough talking points with you over the last year about why I think this car is so great. Yeah. But maybe you want to take the camera and point it to my favorite thing ever. The last time I'll ever do this. When I shut the car off. Goodbye, oh, magic ball. The crystal ball. It is my favorite. Yeah, that is pretty cool. I know. All right. Can you take a picture of it so I never forget? I, I have so many pictures of it. Trust me. <laughs> my magic ball. Oh, my I goodness. I love it so much. You want to sign a contract with that, too? <laughs> All right, Kath, it's time to say goodbye. There it is. Some lucky new owner. Right? Yep. It's been a great car, but it's time to, I think this is it right here. Oh, I do. All right. I'm gonna go see if my name All right. Is. Last time I was here, I didn't have a new one. All right. Let's go see if that's it. Oh man. Look at this. Why does it say David Connor? Why does it say David Connor? I don't know. David Connor. Oh, so wait a minute. The contract is invalid. <laughs> Score. Oh, awesome. That's not good. There we go. Darn it. All right. But it's white. It is white. Are the seats white? They are white. Okay. 
There you go. Beautiful. All right, let, let me take, I gotta, I gotta do a little work here. I gotta make sure this thing is screwed together properly. All right, first of all, check and see if it's got HW4. Do you know how to do that? Yeah, I have to look for the red in the camera. I see it. Yeah, I do too. Right there. Absolutely. Hardware four on this one, hardware three. Yeah, so you got a hardware four on this car. Be beautiful, awesome. All right, I'm gonna I'm gonna take a look at this. Check each one of the wheels to make sure there's no curb rash. Okay. <laughs> I don't think the contract's valid. The car's in my name. So there's only one spot here that I would say we're gonna ask them to fix, and here it is right here. You can kind of see that it's a little bit um, misaligned. This one. This one panel right there. It's probably an adjustment of the of the rear door. The other panels, these are these are tricky seams up here. This looks real good on this side, just a little off on that side, but I don't think that I'm gonna ask them to adjust this rear hatch because the rear hatch is uh, is looking pretty good. Um, this is this is a little off here, but again, it's lined up perfectly there. So overall though, I think the, uh, the seams, they're, they're, they're quite good. It's that one spot that's, I mean, I guess Tesla probably should have, should have looked at that a little bit more closely, but uh, we need the car. This is definitely gonna have to be adjusted. This is, this is quite, quite, a bad, quite a bad seam right there for sure, so. Account assistance. Thank you for calling Genesis Connected Services. Goodbye. <laughs> Are you kidding me? Wait a minute. Let's try that again. Please say the name of the service. All right. So finally got through to Genesis Connected Services and they said, oh, you can't do the reset in the car. You actually have to log into the Genesis website or Hyundai's website. I was like, and she gave me all these instructions to do it. But she said, but you can't do that because our system's been down since Sunday. So if you want to try and do a factory reset, you're not going to be able to do it. And we don't have an ETA when the system's going to come up. So, wow, Genesis Hyundai, not good. I mean, I feel bad that you're having system problems. It's now Thursday. What is going on with your system? Anyway, we'll have to do that. Well, I don't care. I'm already a half hour behind picking up I know, car. I know. I tried. I tried, I tried oh. to get this done. One of the things I do want to say, though, is that because this car is going to be probably... Um, at a, you know, who knows where it's gonna go. They're probably gonna wholesale it out. We are, we're leaving it with a 44% state of charge. But the thing I wanna do is I wanna turn off climate control. And I think that's only fair, just in case, um, you know, the car has to sit for quite a while. Probably should have left it at a little bit higher state of charge just out of cur courtesy, but it'll be fine, I'm sure. Um, so always when you're gonna get rid of a car, do a factory reset. It's different for every vehicle. For Genesis, it's very different. I've never experienced something like that. But I guess they want you to not be able to track the car uh, remotely, which is uh, which is a good thing. So anyway, let's go in. We'll, we'll go in and get your car. All right, so you signed all the paperwork. Most of the paperwork was really about, about the, the, Genesis. the Genesis, the GV60. It was funny, the gentleman here from Tesla, he goes, what's that crystal ball in the yeah. center there, right? Yeah, so I got to wave goodbye to it. One I know, time. I know. But now it's time to say hello. Oh, this is exciting. All right. With white seats. All right. So you've accepted the car in the app. Yes. And now what you need to do is pair the, uh, pair your phone. Right. Let me come around to the other side. Okay. okay? Yep. All right. Wow. Beautiful. Looking good. Looking good here in Mount Kisco. All right, Kathy, so you're about to drive the car. This is one of the most fun things to do. Can I do it? You have the honor. Even your name on it? No, it's okay. It's my car. It's your Here car. Here we go. Ta-da. That okay, is. it's official. That's fun. I already got rid of the floor mat, the little paper floor mat, and the plastic that was on my beautiful white seat. So I'll put this in my bag so okay. I don't throw any trash. All right. 
Okay, so we're two. We need some food, dinner, celebratory dinner. Yeah, let's go do it. And, and I want to get your first impressions of you driving this thing as well. Okay, so well, I let's put on my nighttime distance glasses. There we go. All right. All right. I, I have to tell you what I'm naming it too. Oh, well, speak up. Please do tell. Wait, don't hit the guy. Are you filming now? <laughs> yeah. Oh my gosh. Well, you, this is your first I time. I almost ran over the poor guy who works here. So, okay, I think they see me now. All right, they do. <laughs> <laughs> okay, well, here I am. Let's see how the turning radius is. Will I hit that black one? No, nah, I think you got it. Mm, I got it. All right. Yeah. That's a good test. Which way am I going? That way? To the right. Okay. Let's see. The direction works fine. Fantastic. Don't hit your GV60. Oh, wait. They, they, already, they already moved it. They already took it. Well, I said goodbye to a great car. All right. Well, I feel like I'm right at home. There you this go. is bigger than the GV60. Yeah, it definitely it's feels wider. It's higher. Hanging right at this really light up here. It. Yeah, it's definitely higher. Yeah. Yeah. It's great. And look at the size of this sunroof. This I, is this the glass. Is yeah. Glass it's, roof. Terrific. It is amazing. Yeah. yeah. Oh, you see the colors in the cameras? Oh, that's hardware that four, that baby. Because my yours. model three. Right? The camera's all, it's like, like washed that. out. That looks great. That is. Now you have the green pixels with the HW4. They were doing interpolation on, they only had two colors in there. It's crazy. Oh. Well, anyway, that looks pretty Much cool. higher resolution cameras. You know what? I think I'm sitting, is this car higher than the G? I feel like I'm sitting higher. Oh, it's totally higher. Oh, I love this. I remembered why I love the Y so much. I've been in it for all of 30 seconds. Yeah. Which way? You're going to go up to the next light and turn left. Got it. There's a Chipotle. No, thank you. Chip How do you say that? Chipotle. Chipotle. Oh. You, you just learned to say it like that because you used to tease Katie when she was a teen. Chipotle. <laughs> oh, Dad. Uh, the diner might be to the right oh. or the left. Well, I'm already here. Yeah. I'm committed here. If it's not here, I'll turn around. All right. I can do that. All right. Yeah. Um. So anyway, I, I do you want another name for my car? Yeah, let's hear it. You ready? Yeah. Drum roll. <laughs> June bug. June bug. June bug. Well, it is June. That's why. And you got the Tesla bug. I know. And I thought maybe I'd call it June buggy. Maybe a nickname. I so June the, bug. Do the you buggy. Like it? Yeah. Do you like June it? Buggy. June I, buggy. I I do like it. I like it a lot better than cream puff. No, cream puff was special. <laughs> Cream puff. <laughs> Here's my car, Cream Puff. June Bug. That sounds good. June Bug. Yeah. It's the June Buggy. I like that. All right. All right. Well, listen, let's go have some dinner. We aren't going to tell too much about your first impressions. Oh, I feel like I already just blabbered them out. How happy I am. I'm literally uh, I excited. You, you I'm so really, excited. You're just like, you haven't even done a month. Whoa, hey, now. It's yes. Got the juice. It definitely goes. Yeah. Um, but we'll go have some dinner. Yes. And then tomorrow night. We, you know what? What? I'm going to eat a cheeseburger for dinner. Okay. That's how happy I am. All right. That sounds good. I'm celebrating with a good juicy cheeseburger. Yeah. Easy transaction. Oh, God. Easy so transaction uh, at uh, don't hit the bumps because you're making the camera shake. And I don't know where this diner is. I think it's up here. I okay. remember going past this one before. All right. Before. How's the regen feel? I'll tell you in a minute. It feels good. Strong? Yeah. Yeah. All right. Well, listen, everyone, we will have more, much more content with this Tesla Model Y, the long range model. This car made in Fremont. And here it is now in Mount Kisco, New York. And so we're going to, um, we're, this is going to be great. We're going to have a, a good time with this. We leave for Florida tomorrow night. I know. Can't wait. So there'll be lots to talk about with that. Thanks again for watching another episode of Out of Spec Dave. And we will catch you on the next one. Take care now. Bye-bye.